Hey gang, Diana here today with a Joggles design team supply reveal. How's that? It's not exactly whole because I didn't buy it. Joggles sent me all of it, just a disclosure. But, you know, I love it all, right? Because I love, I love their stuff. Okay, so let me start with the tunnel books. These are super cool. I got very excited when I saw these. And if you go and uh, Google tunnel books, you'll see something that is, you'll see these, but you'll also see something that is different from these. And I've done tunnel books in the past the old fashioned way, but this is fun. So let me turn it right side up. What you have here is chipboard and three holes for rings and you have I believe there's eight pages in all so when you open this up it's like a telescoping holes so they can be painted collaged drawn upon everything anything you want and with each flip of the page you also have the back here and then the next one so I'm thinking this is going to be a really fun time. I've actually already come up with my theme and um, no hints, no clues. And um, when you think about the um, possibilities on that, it's pretty amazing. And Barbara very kindly sent me the rectangle, which has a rectangular opening. I'm not going to uh, open these. Um, Barbara has some great videos on these. And then the square opening. So that's thing one, two, and three. And then we have a pile of stamps here. And these are really fun. This is hilarious. And my brother in law's birthday is coming up. So he's getting a card made with the zombie Bubba. He's going to get a stitch out. He's, he's going to love that. These are funny. Um, I don't know. And here's the here's the really great thing. I don't know that I would pick these out, but having them sent to me makes me look at them in a different with different eyes. And I mean, that's really funny, Milton. Oh my! The boys in my family and friends will love these as well. I think they're very funny and uh, nicely drawn. The drawing and details are great. And they are all, let me just show you, they are all the claim stamps. And which means you put, peel off the back of it and mount it, let me grab the block, mount it on an acrylic block. That's a little small for that block, but whatever you just need a bigger block and they stick so I love these I do because they don't take so much space and I can have more stamps so that's a good thing I have clear stamps too I do find the rubber stamps better on maybe the weird little surfaces we dream up in in mixed media here's flowers and mushrooms oh I love that so you can see the size of some of these are, there's a good size. I like that flower. Some of these things like these I, stamens, I always want to put some glue down, glue pen down and foil that. And actually this would be fun with foils. I think I will set some of these aside to use in projects while I'm looking at them. Oh, this one's great. The Nonsense Latin. Great background texture stamp. So I'm actually going to use that soon. And the background noise is just little bubbles. And it's small enough so that you could use it on ATCs. So these things here, some of these stamps are really sized perfectly for ATCs. So I can see myself doing that Ooh, flower. You know I love flowers. Who doesn't love flowers? And then to go along with that, and there's a nice sized one. This is like my hand sized. And this would be awesome to color in. I'm, and cut out a mask and do it a few times or make a really cool background on a 
journal page. I'm just coming up with ideas. These are really inspiring me. Now also here we have, now I pulled one of these out already to put it with the Notan <coughs> project that I'll be doing soon. These are ATC sized. So you could build up some great backgrounds by using this and this and simple, off it goes, you know? And that's the kind of thing that, that is just so fun to do and so relaxing to do. You could do that at night or anytime. Now I'm gonna grab this big pile. Did I say all, did I cover all these? I don't know, there's so many and you know I get confused. Did you see this? Okay, so the image is actually bigger than this. So this is about the size of my fingers and it's um, Sally's surprise. She's popping out of a box. Is that funny? I mean, you could do all sorts of patterning in these areas. Is she... You could take a gel pen and put some bracelets on her. I mean, I just think there's so much that can be done with stamps like this to really make them your own. And these are cool. I'm not going to remember the name of them but they're essentially what this is is mailing labels that are die cut in here and somehow so you get it wind up with the shape I don't want to pull it off because I don't want to waste them I want to work with them and uh, talk about great for collage you can go all over this with semi I'd say semi wet materials ink pads regular paint um, even probably your mousses and things like that. This is letters. You can't say it, but I can. Um, there's circles, and there's one that I couldn't get up, couldn't figure out. So that's going to be a big surprise when I get there. Anyway, I think they're called snippets. I'll link everything below, and um, I can always put um, a little message on the screen up there. And here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergy season. Stencils and masks. Now this is, let's see what size this is here. This is nine. First measurement done by six. Nine by six. And this is flowers and sort of a fern front. You know, I love that stuff. So the nice thing about this is, let me take this out real quick. You can take these, They you have to do a little clipping, but you can, yeah, I would use a little scissor to just clip those out, and then you have a mask and a stencil. And then you turn it over, and you've got it an opposite. So these are really nice. I would keep these in their plastic so that you don't lose track of them. So let's see what else Barbara put in here, shall we? Oh, looks like somebody knows my love of florals and nature shapes. Floral and fronds. So again, this is so useful. Just these are so useful to use. I mean, this is a great size for journaling, but you can also just put things on the edge. So I'll be using these. I love this pattern. And it's a nice scale, too, so you could use it uh, on a smaller item. This is a little larger scale, but that would, either of these would be great on anything. Cards, that'd be great on cards. And even um, something like this, you could um, stencil through with maybe Distress, and then shift it just a tiny bit and stencil through with Distress again, so you get that kind of double whammy. This would be good for that too. This would be nice for foiling too, now that I'm thinking about it. This would be beautiful foiled intermittently. That would be fun. I think I'll try that on a journal page. I've got too many ideas. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice open spaces so you could actually use this in combination with another stamp. Or another stencil. I mean, think about putting something like this over top this. So that's pretty cool. 
I love this one. We talk about a nice messy background, but it's it's a it's a pattern, so it doesn't doesn't um, distract too much, and you can keep that in the back. Now here's one that I would definitely think would be really nice. I mean, you can just pick one and tape it off, or and then pick another one. Been really nice on cards, and you know this is another one would be really fun to foil because you could just foil with a pen, uh, one of those glue pens, or you could use your gel pens on these too to 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 do some of these. Even these dots, you could use a gel pen just to add interest to a background. Really nice, and I love this. I love this. Of course, I love this. It's paisley and leaf-like or feather-like shapes and it's a really nice open spaces here and there so th again these these used in combination using stencils in combination with each other in a uh, small scale medium and then large scale is really a great way to go so i think that was my whole i did i did order a couple of things if you can believe it i did because um there were some things i needed needed and um, I wanted to try out some of oh they're collage sheets okay the collage sheets are actually a lot of them being cut up right now by myself in the evenings downstairs and you'll see them at some point she has great collage sheets and that's what I ordered more of I not much of a cutter where I wasn't but it really is kind of relaxing. So anyway, that's the design team haul. I'm so, so excited to be a part of the Joggles community. If you're new to my, my video and my blog, welcome. Leave your comments below. And I love hearing from you guys. You know that. Give me ideas. What's on your mind? Um, thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new. See you soon.